So the other thing worth mentioning here, uh, on the 8th, 2023, March, you know, looking at the idea of Ross Nick Petit, you know, out front early, took his 24 in, in Nikolai. He's still wrapping up his 24-hour layover, 12 dogs. We know Nick has a has a fast dog team, and we know Nick is an athletic musher. You know, he's not he's not a 20-year-old, but he's a young athletic musher compared to sort of that the, the geriatrics that were, you know, that are not really out there this year, those 50, 60, 70-year-old mushers. But you know what I mean? Still... 12 dogs, 24 somewhat prematurely in Nikolai. Time will tell. You know, time will tell uh, how his team is able to do. I don't, again, like I don't look at him being able to go and win this year, but, you know, 12 dogs, you know, it's it's warm. He's taking a break there. You know, we know he's got a fast dog team. Uh, he's going to be chasing these guys. You know, if he just stays conservative and, you know, keeps his, his 12 dogs together and, you know, doesn't do eight-hour, ten-hour runs and just goes out there and does, you know, five to six-hour runs uh, or less, you know, and rest, rest them about the same amount, you know, all the way to, you know, Cleet or all the way to Caltech anyway or all the way to Nome, you know, still I think he can easily, reasonably be in the top ten, uh, you know, top ten teams for sure, maybe top eight teams, who knows, maybe better than that, maybe be- maybe exceeding my expectations on that. It's pretty hard to tell without, you know, when we when we see him coming up off the straw, Nikolai, up, leaving his 24-hour layover and see the type of times he makes, McGrath, Kana, Ofer, and as well, you know, basically, you know, how he's going to look in Iditarod, how he's going to look in Ruby, does he have a smile on his face, does he still have the 12 dogs in harness, you know, pulling him, or does he still have at least 11? Uh, you know, those are going to be the indications that, yeah, you know, he made a positive, a good decision there uh, by 24 and Nikolai, you know, because, you know, it, it, and, and it's going to pay off down the road, and at least he's going to be able to keep a team together and have a respectful, a respectable finish this year in 2023 at Iditarod, and not, you know, melt down and have some sort of a crashing type thing, which is obviously a, a worry when you're out front, and, you know, you're trying to, you know, trying to uh, get a lead and, and maintain that lead in those tough conditions on short rest.